everyone and welcome to the first video in our Oktoberfest series where we'll be taking a look at Germany and its culture. So what is Oktoberfest? Oktoberfest is an annual festival held in Munich, Germany over a two-week period that ends on the first Sunday in October. The festival originated on October 12, 1810 in celebration of the marriage of the Crown Prince of Bavaria. The first festival concluded five days later with a horse race. The next year the race was combined with a state agricultural fair and in 1818 booths serving drink and food were introduced. The festival begins with the mayor of Munich tapping the first keg and other entertainment includes games, amusement rides, music, and dancing. Many cities, especially those with a large German-American population, hold Oktoberfests modeled on the original in Munich. We even have one of these held here in North Georgia in Helen. Wearing traditional Bavarian garb is a great way to feel a part of the Oktoberfest festivities. Let's take a look at the traditional dress for women, which is a dirndl. It's a bodice with a blouse and a full skirt with an apron. This dress originated in German-speaking areas of the Alps. It is traditionally worn by women and girls in southern Germany, Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, and Alpine regions of Italy. Their traditional garb for men is lederhosen, a pair of shorts or three-quarter length pants with a drop front flap, and leather suspenders with a front cross strap. It also includes a white shirt, long socks, and boots, and top off the outfit with a Tyrolean or an Alpine hat. These are German-style hiking hats adorned with a feather, flowers, or a tuft of goat hair. The hat is a type of headwear that originally came from Tyrol, a historical region in the Alps, and what is now part of Austria, Germany, Italy, and Switzerland. If you're visiting Munich during Oktoberfest, traditional clothing is sold both new and used as stores throughout the city. It is also available for rent in some shops. Now let's create our own Alpine hat so we can celebrate Oktoberfest in style. We'll be making a paper version and it's very simple to make. To make our Alpine hats, we need construction paper, tape, a hole punch, yarn or string, a feather, scissors, and double-sided tape. If you don't have double-sided tape, you can use glue. I made the example using one sheet of construction paper and it was way too small. So for this one, I'm going to tape together two sheets before starting. Now we'll fold it in half along where we just taped. Then we'll fold in half again just to find the center and make a small crease on the taped edge. Now we'll fold over the two corners to the center. Next, fold up the top layer and crease. Then unfold and fold that piece in half and crease and then fold back up. Flip it over and repeat these steps for the other side. Now we'll fold in the corners and then we'll use the double sided tape to stick it down. Then flip it over and repeat on the other side. The hat is almost done now, just a couple more steps. Now we'll add the feather, we'll stick it down with a piece of tape between the fold. If you want to be able to tie your hat on, next take your hole punch and put a hole in the center through both sides. To complete, you'll cut two pieces of yarn and tie them through the holes you made so that you can tie on the hat. Thank you. 
And now we have a finished hat.